In this video, we are going to talk about the eight diseases that have been shown that dogs can smell in humans and that, in fact, this ability of the dog to smell these diseases is used for its diagnosis. For example, we will talk about the different types of cancer that it can detect, epilepsy, diabetes, etc., etc. There are several diseases that I explain to you all in this video. As I said in the introduction, one of the diseases that has been known since ancient times that the dog can smell in humans is cancer. This is because, basically, cancer cells change or modify their metabolism. And that change in metabolism causes a series of substances to be secreted that humans emit through our skin, through sweat. And this, the dog detects it. What types of cancer? Well, basically, the cancers that the dogs detect the most are melanoma, skin cancer, colorectal cancers. Basically, if you look, this is the exit part, and it is also a cancer that emits a lot of smell. Not for us, because we don't detect it, but for the dog. Ovarian cancer is a cancer that is also close to the urogenital area of the woman and that the dog smells very clearly. Prostate cancer in the men, for the same reason as ovarian cancer, and breast cancer in the woman. These cancers are cancers that, obviously, are close or close, and also, in the case of melanoma, even closer to the body surface, that change their metabolism a lot and that dogs detect very easily. Then we have diabetes. Dogs are able to detect increases and decreases in sugar in diabetic people about 20 minutes before it occurs. Basically, because a substance known as isoprene appears in the blood, which the dog smells very clearly. In fact, people who have a serious diabetes problem, and it is very important to control it, nowadays they are offered as a warning prevention measure. This type of dogs that smell decreases and increases in sugar. Then we have that dogs also detect narcolepsy, that phenomenon by which, all of a sudden, a person falls asleep. Logically, imagine the problem that this can arise if at that moment you are driving. Well, dogs, in advance, detect that you are going to have a narcolepsy attack. Imagine the issue, right? And this is basically due to the fact that there is a variation in a brain neurotransmitter of humans, the hypocretin, that the dog is able to detect. Those variations of hypocretin, the dog knows by its descent that the person is going to have that attack in a few minutes, a maximum of one or two hours. Something very similar happens with epilepsy. Epileptic people, before suffering an epileptic attack, segregate, through sweating, a series of substances that the dog is able to detect. And I say again what I was saying before about diabetes. Nowadays, certain dogs are educated to develop this character even more. Then we have migraines. About migraines, a few years ago I did a very interesting study with a thousand and fifty odd people who were chronic migraine sufferers and almost 55%, a little more than 55%, said that they detected changes in the dog's behavior just hours before he had a migraine attack. Then it has been seen, it is not known what neurotransmitter they specifically detect, but yes, that certain dogs can be educated to detect these unpleasant headaches. Something very similar happens with Parkinson's. Parkinson's is also detectable by dogs. In fact, they even detect that there may be a Parkinson's attack in both medicated and non-medicated patients. Then we also have malaria. In the year of the COVID outbreak, in 2019, there was an article, for example, from the Lancet magazine, where it was seen that dogs detected up to 90% the positive cases of malaria in children. And this, well, there are areas where malaria is very endemic and it is not very difficult to get it right, but in other areas where it is already thought that the disease may have been eradicated, having this type of dogs that can be educated to detect. The disease is tremendously practical, as you will understand. And since we were talking about 2019, we cannot deny that the sensitivity of the dog to detect a positive COVID patient is even greater than the rat tests. The tests, these quick ones they give you with a stick, the dog's sense of smell is faster, it is more sensitive, even more effective for the early detection of the problem than any test. In fact, there are police units, now they are not seen so much, but at the time when we were all so screwed up, where this type of dogs were taken to port facilities, airports, etc., areas where there could be entry and exit of people to detect, from a simple sense of smell, as I say, the possible presence of a person who was a carrier of the disease. Thank you very much and see you next time. Take care. Bye.